Subscribe, smash, bell. Subscribe, smash, bell. Like a G6 in the shop on a Saturday. I had to come in and do some work and then found out that the parts that they thought were in weren't in. So I asked the shop manager, hey, can I bring in the G6 for a, an alignment? So yes, I was honored that he let me bring the car to the shop and trusted me with the alignment rack because little secret, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I barely, I was trained a little bit at the last gig on the alignment rack, right? Toe and go, you know, and comp, rolling compensation and jacking compensation. I'm learning this. And so what are the odds I was able to align my, my wife and I's G6 convertible coupe? What are the odds? Wheels off the ground. So three, four. I'm in the way of that one. So what I'm doing here is spinning them back and forth to try and make the numbers uh, go out to the next number. I thought that would make things work until I set the car down. Uh, so three. And yes, I was trained a little. <laughs> I do have some knowledge, like here's an example of toe, toe in, toe out, camber, caster. You want your car to be rolling properly down the road. You don't burn up your tires like I obviously did on the G6 3 If I remember right, do it again. Three. Apparently, yeah, see, I don't know what so eventually I discovered that this wasn't working and gave up on jacking compensation when I couldn't get the computer to read the sensors. That's a little bit ridiculous. So yeah, here I am clicking continue. I'm not sure what's going on. Lower and joins the vehicle. Joints. Joust. Joints. What? So, <clears throat> Unlock. So at this point, I'm thoroughly frustrated. I don't know what the deal is with this machine. This machine's very different than the one I'm used to, so this shouldn't be this hard. And that's, uh, that's the view, camera view. I mean, everything looks fine. These are all on the correct wheel. So. so when I couldn't get jacking compensation to work, I was back to rolling compensation, brought the car back down uh, on the pads, and roll it back and forth, and I had to lock down the sensors. Now check it out. This is how I learned and these, these grip onto the tire. These sensors grip onto the tire, which is ridiculous. You know, the other ones we had gripped right onto the, the wheel itself. Here's, a, here's what it looks like way off in the back there, throwing the whole toe out pretty bad. And then because the car originally came from Pennsylvania, doused it with some good old PB Blaster. Love that stuff. Yeah, so it's loose enough now. Can you see the whole thing moving? All right, so now I'm attacking it from the front. That, that will hold it in place. So close. Uh, I know. Uh, can I get these bolts to go? 
This is one of the coolest things about this machine is this little remote. So you don't have to try and look at the screen while you're underneath the back of the vehicle trying to adjust that side and I could watch this little screen and see it moving back and forth too far. Don't go too far. Oh, there you go. Jump too far. So at the end of the day, I didn't do too bad getting the whole G6 lined up. That's actually not the readings. <laughs> I didn't save the screen. Ah, but it, that's about pretty close. It was really close. I was also able to get in there and lubricate the top for the dead of winter lubrication exercise. There it is all aligned. Don't forget to subscribe and why not watch another video? Stick around!